Welcome to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. If you're like me, I always like good news. I like to hear good things. I like when my kids come home and say, oh, it was a great day. I like it when Reese, my husband, says, oh, Sarah, that was excellent. I love good news, and I think you do too. So I want to give you some good news. Pat from Illinois called and asked for prayer concerning some truck repairs. The estimate for the repairs was around $3,500. Pat didn't know how he would be able to pray, uh, pay for the repairs, but after receiving prayer, he went to pick up the truck and the bill was less than $800. Oh my goodness, <laughs> and that's good news. That's very good news, and if you have financial needs in your life, you know, I wanna encourage you, why don't you get on the phone, call, or drop us a line on our website, but we wanna pray for you. And Mom, this is a very, very special day, a very exciting day, oh. because we get to talk about partners yes. and exciting things that happen the for best. our partners. The best, and we have partners who call us and write us and tell us how God has given them financial miracles. Mm -hmm. That is awesome to me, and I believe when you sow, you reap. And I believe in this ministry, when you sow in this ministry, we have three anointings. One is for the Word of God. Oh, you get hungry to read your Bible. Two is for healing and miracles. You need miracles in your finances, miracles in your body. That's an anointing on this ministry for our partners. And three, for the nations, that God gives you a passion and a compassion for the nations. Are you a partner? You need to be. Every one of you need to be. You say, I don't have any money. God does. You've got a rich father. He can give you the money. Get on the phone and say, I want to be Sarah and Marilyn's partner. I want to help them cover the earth with the word. I want those three anointings on me. Or you can get on the website. And don't wait until you can see everything. We walk by faith. And we look at what he has, not at what we don't have. And you need miracles today. I believe there's a miracle anointing on every partner. And if you are a lapsed partner, oh, this is your great occasion to call and say, hey, I'm jumping in as a partner again. I need those anointings on my life. I want God to use me in the most miraculous way. And that's what he does with partners. Hello, this is Dominic Russo. And I just like to take a moment and speak to young people that are watching, speak to everyone watching the program today to encourage you to partner with Marilyn and Sarah. Marilyn and Sarah have such an extraordinary reach in the nations of the world. They're going to places that maybe you or I could never have the opportunity to go. But when you partner with Marilyn and Sarah, it's as if you go with them. You go with them to Pakistan. You go with them to Southeast Asia. You go with them to Latin America. And you know, when you sow a consistent seed, you receive a consistent harvest. The scripture says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that will he also reap. And if you will consistently support the work of this ministry, I believe that very same harvest will come in your life. The Bible says God gives seed to sowers. And if you would position yourself, say, Lord, this year, I'm gonna make a difference in the nations. I'm gonna make a difference in this nation. I'm gonna partner with a ministry that is literally transforming lives every single day. I believe you will also receive that very same transformation in your life. I want to encourage you, pick up the phone and ask the prayer partner, ask the person on the other end of that line, how do I become a partner today?
Well, today is your opportunity to pick up the phone and say, yep, I want to be a partner with Marilyn and Sarah. And when you call today, we have a special gift we want to give you called the keys to more miracles in your life. So get on the phone right now. Today is the day we want to send this to you. Say, yep, I want to be a partner or get on our website. But we want to send this to you, especially everybody who signs up today and says, yes, I want to be a partner. This is our special gift to thank you. And not only is it a gift for you, but it also has some fantastic wisdom and tremendous word, the word of God, principles from the Bible that will help uh, help you see more miracles in your life by increasing and boosting your faith. So I just think it's super important. Get on the phone, call right now, say, yep, I want to be a partner. This is my day or hop on the website. But today's the day. Let's be partners today. Sarah, we believe in miracles, don't mm -hmm. we? Yeah, we do. I know. We really have lived a miraculous mm -hmm. life. You're a miracle. Yep. Your birth is a miracle. And I believe God has great miracles for you too. And I want to encourage you today to be a partner and get the anointing of healing and miracles because there are three anointings on this ministry. I want to remind you again. One is for the Word of God. Two is for healing and miracles. Three is for nations. Do you know you can change the news? When you watch the news, and I do a certain amount of time every day, I see that I can pray. I don't have to just watch it. I can change it. And God really began to put in my heart to go to the, some of these nations and preach the gospel and heal the sick. And you are going to be watching a special time in 2003 that we went into Pakistan to Lahore and we had over 120,000 people in a stadium. You say, oh, that's an uh, Islamic country. Yes, and I would say 80% of our crowd on those five nights were Islamic. And many, many healings and miracles occurred that exalted the name of Jesus. My name doesn't heal anyone. It's the name of Jesus that heals. Many, many people stood to receive Jesus as their personal Savior. It was such an awesome, miraculous time. I have been to Pakistan five times, and I'm going back again. And it's because I have wonderful partners who, like many of you, who help me. And, of course, the rest of you who are going to become partners today because you're going to call in. You're going to get on the website and say, I want to be a partner to Marilyn and Sarah. I want to help them cover the earth with the Word. I want that anointing that's on them. I want the anointing for the Word. I want the anointing of healing and miracles in my life. I don't want to just know about it. I want to change nations. I want to be a nation changer. Call right now, get on our website. Maryland's Citywide Crusade and Nationwide Ministry Training School in Lahore was God's greatest move in Pakistan. To a nation whose streets were choked with anti-American protesters, Maryland brought a message of love, peace, and the hope found in Christ. I believe that you love me. You have compassion on me. Her first night in Pakistan, Maryland hosted a special banquet for 150 Muslim clerics, city leaders, high-ranking government officials, and Christian leaders. No less than the Minister of Health for Pakistan welcomed Maryland to his country. The next day was the beginning of Maryland's nationwide ministry training school. Pastors and Christian leaders from every denomination and region of Pakistan converged on Lahore for this five-day pastor seminar. During the ministry training school, Marilyn prayed for the sick, and God moved in a powerful way. One man, who had been unable to move without pain for years, raced up and down the stairs to demonstrate freedom from his ailment. Later that same day, she anointed each one present, more than 2,000 people. At its close, Pakistani Christian leaders told Marilyn, this was her best ministry training school ever. God's favor allowed national chairman Robinson Asgar to secure the city's modern new field hockey stadium that seats more than 100,000 people for the evening meetings. 
Security was tight during the crusade. Every person who entered the stadium was carefully examined, and every evening a bomb-sniffing dog inspected the crusade platform for explosive devices. Marilyn said, when more than 100,000 people, including Muslims, sang hallelujah, the presence of God became so thick, it was like a blanket covering the entire stadium. I've never experienced anything like it. Over the five days of the crusade, the city of Lahore pulsed with the power of God as healings and miracles occurred night after night. For instance, a young girl born with a foot twisted backward had her foot straightened and she was able to walk normally. A boy whose crippled hand was closed by polio could open his hand. Many deaf children had their hearing restored and countless blind children received their sight. May her eyes totally come in place. is pouring out his spirit on Pakistan in unprecedented ways, and Maryland Hickey Ministries is greatly privileged to have been a part in this mighty move of God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! In Pakistan and across the globe, the words of the prophet Joel are truly being fulfilled as God uses Maryland Hickey, a pastor's wife, mother, and teacher of God's word, to cover his earth with the word. So many people say, oh, you can't get into these countries. You know, God says you can do anything. When I see this DVD, it just really encourages me. God can do anything. Ask for the heathen, ask for the nations of the world. God loves them because he loves the world. Sarah, I'm so excited about what Jesus is doing in our day yep. to reach the lost. It's true. And mom, I want to encourage everyone watching today to become partners with yes, us because this absolutely. is part of the way God reaches the lost That's right. is through our ministry and through you. So I want you to pick up the phone, call and say, I want to be a partner with Marilyn and Sarah. And today we want to send you a special gift for each person who becomes a partner with us today. We want to send you the key to more miracles in your life a booklet that mom and I have wrote, written, and it will help you tremendously to see God move in your life with miracles, healing, signs, and wonders. So get on the phone, say, yep, I want to be a partner, and we want to send this to you, or get on the website. We're going to send this to you today for each person who becomes a partner with us. And, you know, when we talk about the anointing on this ministry, the anointing for nations, you just saw what God did, fantastic things, amazing things in Pakistan. I want to show you now a testimony of healing because part of the anointing on this ministry is for healing and miracles. And I'm sharing this with you because here's the situation. You may be watching right now and you may be discouraged and your faith may be kind of in a low spot. And ever so often your faith needs a little jump start. You know, you need a little bit of the defibrillator for your faith. It goes clear, boom, and it kind of charges your faith. And that's what this testimony is going to do. It's going to charge your faith. And again, remember, the anointing on this ministry for signs and wonders, for nations, for the Word of God comes on onto our partner. So please pick up the phone, call right now and say, I want to be a partner. If you can't get to the phone, then jump on the website. And remember, we will send you today the key to more miracles in your life for everybody who becomes a partner today. Now you're going to watch a video here, and this is with Marsha. And Marsha has a miracle that will absolutely encourage your faith, stir you up, and help you believe that God can do what seems to be impossible. I went to the doctor expecting him to maybe give me a B12 vitamin shot or something like that. And they took um, uh, some tests, blood tests and what have you, called me back within a week and told me that I had lupus. And it wasn't just one doctor who told me that. When I um, was sitting in the patient's room, there were five doctors that came in. And I could tell by the solemn look on their face that the answer wasn't very, very good. 
they told me that I had an advanced um, case of lupus and that uh, I had less than a year to live. And um, they um, would try to make me comfortable, but they, uh, it was so advanced that they just weren't sure whether they could do anything. So um, <clears throat> my husband, who uh, had just been saved about three months earlier, he didn't receive that report. <laughs> and um, so he, through his prayers, and um, I came into agreement. I, I didn't know the Lord at that point, you know, but I didn't want to die either. So I thought, well, I'll just agree with my husband. And um, within that year, God miraculously healed me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. And that was 28 years ago. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Vision ooh, is so powerful. Vision is really what connects us with God. It is the supernatural. If you lose the vision, I'm telling you, you lose the purpose and the power that God has for you. Without a vision, people perish. And this vision of covering the earth with the word, it is so powerful, so anointed. When you become a part of this vision, you see, you become a part of the supernatural. That is so key. And Sarah and I have the vision to cover the earth with the word. And God gives us anointings for this. He gives us the anointing of the word. You can't do anything without the word. It's impossible. He gives us the anointing of healing and miracles. We must have that. We cannot be just natural people and fulfill a vision. He gives us an anointing for nations. That's a part of the vision because God so loves the world. I want to encourage you today to be a part of this powerful vision. These three anointings to come on you. Are you a partner yet? Well, don't put it off because today we are offering something so special to all of you who sign up. It's the key to more miracles in your life. It will show you the power of vision. It will show you the power of the miraculous that comes through the word. It will show you you've got a big God. So you don't need to put off calling in. Believe God. He will supply the financial need and call in and say, I want to be a partner to this ministry. I want to do it today. Or get on the website. And I want to say this. I just welcome all of you new partners. I welcome all of you lapsed partners jumping back in the boat again. And I believe in Jesus' name for unusual blessings in the next three days for you. That's really good. And mom, you know, everyone who calls to become a partner today yes. or they get on the website, we're sending each person the key to more miracles in your life. So make sure you do that. We love to send this to you. And, you know, as you're doing that, I want to also encourage you, you're going to see a video here in just a second of an incredible testimony of healing in Guatemala. Now, I love to say this healing and show, show this healing, share this with you, because it has so many different ways in, of expression. You're going to see a gentleman here who had never walked in his entire life, and he comes out of a, mirror, he comes out of a wheelchair. You're going to see a lady here who has some eye problems, and she's going to explain to you what's going on with her eyes. But this happened in Guatemala. Now, I share this with you because I want to encourage you that the same God who did miracles in Guatemala can do miracles in your life today. And He's the God of the impossible. So watch this and let it encourage your faith.
The 2006 International Women's Mentoring Clinic and Citywide Healing Meeting brought together 130 women from the United States with 1,300 Guatemalan women on fire for God. They came to Guatemala City expecting four days of miracle mentoring, which turned into miracle healings. The grand finale, an awesome display of God's love and power in Central America. When the U.S. and Canadian women arrived, Maryland met them with a powerful mandate. You're not here to fuel the fire of revival. It's already consumed much of this nation. God called you here to light a match from that fire so that you could ignite revival in your life, your family, and in your community back home. Last summer, when Marilyn and Sarah first announced their plans to host a women's mentoring clinic there, some asked, why Guatemala? This picturesque country with its striking cathedrals, colorful marketplaces, and breathtaking scenery is an ideal place to visit. But most importantly, it's a hotbed of revival, and therefore the perfect backdrop for combining miracle mentoring with hands-on ministry. The first of its kind, the clinic brought together women from the nations of Guatemala, the United States, and Canada. This mentoring clinic was designed to teach women how to evangelize, pray effectively for the sick, minister in their spiritual gifts, and develop a heart for the nations. A huge hit with the women was Maryland's new teaching, Fourth Dimension Living. So I told you about this man. He said, I'm the man. Maryland prayed for those with back problems. One woman was free of back pain for the first time in six months. When the power of God touched another woman, she took off running hand in hand with Marilyn. What a joyous sight. Sarah played an integral role in the mentoring clinic and the women learned so much from her. They took her message on overcoming fear to heart and soaked up her practical teaching on healing the sick. Sarah prayed a healing prayer for those with eye problems. Then she called women forward to step out in faith, apply what they learned, and pray for the sick. A woman with a history of nine eye surgeries was healed from a detached retina. Marilyn and Sarah's mentoring and teaching were powerfully complimented by Pastor Blanca Castro. After Pastor Castro ministered on emotional healing, she asked for a show of hands from women who suffered spousal, sexual, and verbal abuse. They left the room renewed to the truth about their value and worth as women. With the mentoring clinic concluded and the citywide healing meeting approaching an air of excitement, anticipation overtook everyone. Almost 5,000 people crowded El Shaddai Church in Guatemala City and packed the altars, pressing in to receive prayer. What followed was a mighty outpouring of God's miracle healing power. A 24-year-old man, paralyzed since birth, stood with tears of joy streaming down his face and began leaping up and down. A woman with back pain for 15 years was pain-free. A young deaf girl heard her name spoken for the very first time. These miracles are just a sampling of the awesome wonders witnessed and experienced during the mentoring clinic and healing meeting. Central America is showing the world that as people hunger for God, entire nations can be changed by His transforming power. I love Guatemala. Who could not love Guatemala? I love the Latin countries. I love the passion of these people for Jesus, how they love to pray, how they love to win the lost. It is just awesome, Sarah. What an opportunity for us and our partners right. who are behind all of this to do what God right. did. And you know, Mom, again, anointing on this ministry for nations like Guatemala, like Pakistan, like Angola, all different countries, yes. uh, anointing for nations, anointing for the Word of God, can't get enough, just absolutely addicted and happily addicted because it brings life into my heart yes. and anointing for healing, for miracles. And so that's on us and that comes on our partners. And if you're not a partner yet, guess what? Today's your day. You get to call today and say, yep, I want to be a partner. And when you do, we're going to send you this book, The Key to More Miracles in Your Life. So get on the phone, get on our website and say, yep, I want to be a partner today. I'm not going to put it off. Today is my day. 
Before we finish today, I want to encourage you with a testimony from Patricia in Tennessee. Now watch this. This is really powerful. She had an addiction to smoking and wanted to be free from it. As she was watching the program, mom prayed for those who wanted to be set free from smoking. The next day, Patricia quit smoking. Now listen, you're like, that's great, but this is the real clincher. Oh my goodness, this takes my breath away. She had previously smoked three packs of cigarettes every day for 37 years. <laughs> I, I, when I read that, I was like, what? That's amazing. And that's God. I mean, that is totally what God does. He does things that are like, oh, what? That's amazing because that's who he is. And we want God to be a part of your life. We want to see him integrated into your daily living, not just a little bit here and over there, but we want God to be a part of your daily, every second, every moment of every single day. Thank you for watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. And we want to challenge you. This is your last opportunity today to become partners with Marilyn and Sarah. And I want to encourage you. Some of you have watched and you're like, yeah, maybe, maybe not. No, stop putting off the reasons. Stop putting off the excuses. Just saying, no, no. Just pick up the phone and say, yep, I want to be a partner. And remember, for everybody who becomes a partner today, we want to send you this special gift, the key to more miracles in your life. It will be a tremendous blessing in your life. So get on the phone or get on the website and say, yep, today is my day to be a partner. And in Jesus' name, I pray a special blessing on everyone becoming a partner today. I thank you, Lord, for meeting them in financial ways, in ways that they're hungry for the Word of God, that it really is a new anointing of miracles on the life of every partner. Thank you, Jesus, that you've called us to cover the earth with the Word.